Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q1 of the Bi-Weekly Contest 89, number of valid clock times. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. So there are a couple of ways you can do it, really, and I was just being lazy, so I'm going to show you my way. But of course, you can... I think the, the way that you can do it is also just brute force on the question mark and seeing if they're valid. Um, I did it the other way. Both ways are probably fine. Um, it's going to be at most like 10,000 things to check, right? So, yeah. Um, this is my way is that I actually um, try it for every number, for uh, every possible value, which they're only 14, uh, 14, 40 minutes in a, in a day, um, you know, 20, 24 times 60. Convert it into the, the format. Um, this converts it to the format and then um, and then just do a string comparison uh, with, with the question mark um, and then just add the count. This is going to be, you know, all of... I guess number of minutes in a day time, uh, constant if you want to say that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I was trying to think about the easiest way to not make a silly mistake. And for the other one, I think it's a little bit harder because you have to write like weird recursion for loops. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. So I, this way I, I keep in one for loop um, and that's why I did it this way. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think and you could watch me sell a live in contest. Now, jeez, bad quick final, and that's why 15 second wasted already. Do we want a This is an annoying one. Okay, fine. What a messy one. Two hundred forty. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest and this problem and this explanation. I'll see you soon. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. Goodbye and take care. Mm -hmm.